What's up everybody, Cyrix fan here and uh, I'm just hanging out at uh, Tom Henry Chevy here and they just got in the new Camaro convertible and uh, since I've reviewed just about every version of the Camaro there is aside from the convertibles I figured uh, you can go watch those reviews if you want an in-depth analysis of the Camaro SS which is what I'm currently driving. I'm just doing this quick drive video to show you guys what the convertible is like because as you know I love convertibles and love uh, you know the open air experience and so this one has a dual mode exhaust too so those two things combined should be glorious. So let's drop it down into first and hear how it sounds. <laughs> yep, it's fun. It's lots and lots of fun. <laughs> All the same great tail happiness that you normally get. And you just have even more of the sound than you got before. It's really great, but I gotta say it's actually quieter than I was expecting it to be. So another thing, you know, convertibles are heavier. And so I really want to, you know, focus on does this feel heavier in corners and how does, you know, is it flex? Is there any kind of jitters or shakes like some convertibles have? But before we do that, we must do another acceleration because why not? <laughs> you know those crackles and pops? <laughs> and even on the overrun, whenever you let off the gas, it'll uh, crackle and pop as it comes down the RPMs there. But man, it still feels great. I gotta say though, it definitely does feel a little bit heavier to me. Uh, you know, even in the very first few corners, I noticed that, that it does feel a little bit weightier, but it certainly doesn't really take away from the experience. I think it's a little less agile, but you get the drop top experience and I don't think you really are giving up much. And uh, so overall, I think it's a pretty good uh, compromise to make. But it does a good job of blocking out the wind noise and like I said, even the exhaust. You can hear the exhaust, but it's way far back there, so it doesn't sound like it's right in your ear. So it's not obnoxious by any means, even in sport mode here. If you want to make it quieter, you put it into the tour mode and you can barely, I can hardly even hear it. Um, you can hear it if you step on it, but if you keep your foot out of the gas, it's fine. And. Um, but yeah, it's nice, you know, the, the windscreen here doesn't come too far back, so you can still see everything above you. You know, some like some convertibles, you're like sitting like this, and so you hardly even feel like you're driving a convertible. This, it stops nice and early, so you definitely feel like you're driving a convertible. Otherwise, though, it's just as great as the hardtop Camaro SS. They're, they're all phenomenally fun vehicles. I love all the Camaros here for 2016. They've done a great, great job with them. They're just such good handlers, it's amazing. And this is still very, very very good with the handling and it's just fun it's just so much more fun if you live in a place where you can enjoy a convertible I would definitely recommend it and one of the great things now with the 2016 Camaros here you know with the two LTs like this one you can get you know you have the cooled seats as a standard uh, feature here on the two LTs so you know even when it gets really hot in a convertible you have those cooled seats on I think it really is gonna help so uh, overall I think this is uh, you know probably the best convertible Camaro yet uh, and all those new features uh, just make it even more so Never gets old. Man, the power, it's still, even though it might be a little bit heavier, <laughs> it pulls just as hard as before. So anyway, that's just about it, guys. Like I said, there's not a whole lot else that's different between the Camaro convertible and the hardtop Camaro. So uh, just, you know, a couple of things there. I didn't really feel any flex in the body. It feels very solid still. It's still very comfortable, though, at the same time. Uh, you know, the exhaust is great, but even the dual mode exhaust, not overwhelming here, even in the convertible. I love how quickly this stops so that you, know, you have a very good open air experience. And overall, it just seems like a really, really nice convertible. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.